All right, quick Linux update. If you've been following along, you probably know that I've been daily driving Omarkey for a while now, but recently I made a change. I moved away from Omarkey and I'm now running a traditional Arch-based setup with KDE Plasma. Before anyone grabs their torch and pitchfork, this is not a why Omarkey is bad video. This is actually kind of the opposite. Omarkey did exactly what I hoped it would do. Before using it, Linux was something I had liked a lot, but I wasn't fully convinced that I could live in, well, Linux land day to day without friction. Most of my routine Linux usage involved SSHing into my home lab and configuring a machine for work using something like Terraform or CloudFormation, but I wasn't really using Linux. Omarkey really changed that for me. It smoothed out a lot of the rough edges, made things feel intentional, and let me focus on work instead of constantly fiddling with my system. At some point, I realized, okay, I can actually just use Linux as my daily driver comfortably. That alone makes Omarkey a success in my book. But here's the funny part. Once I got comfortable with Omarkey, it kind of did the opposite thing too. It made me more curious. I started wanting to understand more about what was installed, why things were set up the way they were, and what the rest of the Linux ecosystem had to offer. That curiosity eventually turned into, all right, I think I wanna run my own Arch setup. And while I was at it, I decided to finally give KDE Plasma a real try. It had piqued my interest, it looked nice and customizable, and I thought I'd give it a shot. The difference between Omarkey and Arch with KDE Plasma really comes down to how opinionated they are. Omarkey is giving you a full experience out of the box. It has strong opinions and a lot of tools that are included, uh, and a workflow that's honestly ready to go immediately. That was a huge win for me, especially if you were like me and you just want to install Linux and get to work. With Arch and KDE Plasma, it's way more modular. And just to clarify, it doesn't have to be KDE Plasma. You could use Hyperland with Arch. You could use GNOME with Arch. You have options. But you choose what's installed and running and how minimal or feature-rich you want things to be. And this is where I'll be a little critical of Omarkey. For me, it eventually started to feel bloated. Not in a, this is bad software kind of way, but more in a, this solves a problem that I don't personally have type way. Once I realized that, I wanted something leaner and more tailored to how I actually work. One of the things I noticed while using Omarkey as well was that my fans were running a bit hotter than I expected for certain workloads. Some a little weird, like screensaver. Nothing scary, but enough that I noticed it and went, huh, that's a little odd. Since switching to Arch with KDE Plasma, I can confirm that I don't have the same issues anymore for day-to-day -day usage, and in general, my fans are running cooler, which, you know, just something to be aware of. That said, uh, and this is important too, there are issues that have been raised about this for the Omarkey team, and from what I've seen, the team is already fixed or is actively fixing the ones that seem most relevant to the use case that I mentioned, uh, the one that I was running into. So this isn't me like dunking on the project. Again, I'm very grateful for what Omarkey's done for me and those issues are clearly being worked on. So where does this leave things? Uh, honestly, I'm just really grateful for Omarkey. It helped me cross that mental barrier of can Linux actually be my daily driver? And the answer turned out to be very clearly, yes, yes it can. Now I'm excited to explore Arch on my own terms, dig deeper into the ecosystem and see how far I can push KDE Plasma before ultimately trying GNOME and maybe going back to Hyperland. If you're using Omarkey and loving it, that's awesome. Many people are, and I think you should continue doing that. And if it eventually makes you curious enough to branch out, that's also kind of the point of Omarkey in my opinion. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one.